So in this video I'll show you two AI image generators with freemium plans where you get free credits to help you get started. You'll learn where to find inspiration and keywords for AI art and filmmaking and I'll explain why starting with small prompts is best. Lastly, I'll show you how to create consistent characters and images for better storytelling. I've primarily used Midjourney and Flux AI over the past two years for creating AI art and film images. Since Midjourney doesn't offer free credits, I won't be covering it. However, you can use Flux AI on one of the freemium platforms. So let's dive in. The first freemium platform is Leonardo AI. Freemium means you get 15 daily tokens and depending on the model you use, you can create between 5 and 15 images with this. Soon I'll explain more about this, including how to choose the Flux AI model in Leonardo AI and how to create images with it. But first I want to show you Ideogram, the second freemium AI image generator. With Ideogram's free plan you can generate up to 40 images per week. Unfortunately you can't use Flux AI, as Ideogram has its own AI image model. To start using it, simply click here in the prompt box. And the first thing I would recommend to do is choose a style. For example, if you want to make a logo, I would definitely go for design. But in this case, I just want to make realistic images. Then I'm going to copy my prompt in here. And now there are a few more parameters to choose from. Turning on magic prompt means the AI will add extra keywords to refine your prompt, which can be helpful if you're new to texture image prompting. However, I'm not a big fan because it gives you less control. So I'm going to turn it off. In the aspect ratio settings, you can select options for vertical, square or wide images. For the model, we'll choose version 1.0 because the freemium mode doesn't allow access to the latest model. Once everything is set, click the generate button to create your image. As I'm sort of pleased with the results, let's see if we can achieve better results using Flux AI on Leonardo. To create images, we go to the image creation tab. Here we see a different user interface, but with roughly the same parameters. We can select the model and in my previous generation I used Flux Snell, a smaller model that costs less per generation. This time we'll select the Flux Dev model for higher quality. We'll set the prompt enhance to off and the style to none. The image dimensions will stay at 16x9 and the resolution at medium. In freemium mode we can't use the large resolution nor can we choose how many images are generated per generation. It's fixed at 4. Now we'll add our prompt in the prompt box and hit generate. To download the image, click on it and click on this button. And now talking about the quality, I think this is much better than the ideogram quality. It is much more realistic and it just feels very real. And to show you the comparisons with the Flux Snell model, this is created with the Flux Snell and the quality is also very good. I don't see much difference, except that the skin appears slightly more plastic-like and less realistic, which could also be because of the seed used for this generation. Later in the section about starting with small prompts, I will explain more about the seed number. There are many more freemium AI generators and in my blog post I've listed 6 of them. Each includes a link to the platform, details on how many images you can generate per day, an overview of the subscription options and my personal opinion on that AI image generator. I also cover two platforms where you can pay per image without a subscription and share my top AI generator recommendations. If you're interested in using Flux AI locally on your computer, I recommend watching this video, where I explain how to install it and how to use it on Rendezvousion in the cloud. Now let's explore where to find keywords and inspiration. Knowing which keywords to use for text to image prompting is essential and there are many ways to find them. Let's start with CivitEye.com, a well-known website for generative AI resource sharing, where you can discover, download and share AI image content. In the image tab you can browse through countless images and by clicking on one you'll see the prompt used to create it. You can copy the prompt and use it for your own AI image generation. You can also search for specific topics, but make sure to switch the tab from models to images. Then for example you can type in miniature art to find inspiration based on this keyword. Another option is to search for inspiration on Leonardo AI, where all the community creations are displayed. These can be filtered by 7 categories such as photography, animals and more. You can also choose to view trending images, new uploads or the most liked ones. Once you find an image you like, simply click on it to copy the prompt. Another way to get inspiration is by using my free AI art styles blog post, which you can find here. On my homepage AI video courses in the menu item tutorials you can find all my tutorials and blog posts. There you can find the 120 AI art styles. 
And as you can see, I sorted them in six different categories. And the reason I did this is because when I'm searching for inspiration for AI art styles on platforms like CivitEye or here in the search box on Midjourney, I get amazing images, but I can't search per category. So that's why I think that this blog post can make the start of your AI image creation easier by getting inspiration in uh, several categories. If you want to take it a step further, you could consider buying my Ultimate Prompt Toolkit with over 1000 plus visual keywords and prompts. It also includes 100 pages of in-depth text to image guides, giving you all the skills needed to master text to image prompting. Now that we know where to find keywords, let's use them and start creating small prompts. But before we do this, I want you to know I've created a free PDF featuring both basic and advanced prompt structures, along with a detailed guide on the three layers and a few examples of all 12 components. The basic prompt structure provides an easy start to enjoy the fun of text to image prompting. The advanced structure is perfect for achieving consistent images for better storytelling, which we'll cover soon in step four. Back in Leonardo AI, I'm switching the model from Flux Dev to Flux Snell to make the generation cheaper while I work on fine tuning my prompt. In the advanced settings, I'll also select use fixed seed. A seed number is a random number that instructs the AI on how to generate an image. So when you use the same seed, aspect ratio and prompt, you will replicate the same image. This allows us to see how adding a new keyword changes the prompt. You could call this mindful prompting, which is especially useful if you want to create your own specific image style. Copying other creators prompts is useful to get a specific style from that image. Mindful prompting helps deepen your understanding of text to image AI prompting. The reason I always recommend starting with small prompts is that it gives you more control and helps you understand what each keyword produces. This also means observing how each new keyword changes the image. Starting with just one keyword also boosts creativity as it allows the AI to demonstrate the full potential of that single keyword. Let's put this into action so you can see what I mean. So I'm just going to add the word cyberpunk and hit generate. So now we can see four images with a lot of neon lighting and in one of them a woman is wearing a helmet. This is what I meant by boosting your creativity. Now I understand the potential of this single keyword and I'll keep it in mind to use later. Now let's add the word woman to the prompt. So the image style roughly stayed the same but there's no helmet in there and since I really like that I'm going to add with full face helmet to the prompt. And now we're getting much closer to the style I had in mind, especially image two and three look very realistic and I really like the style. Text to image prompting isn't just about entering a prompt, it's a process of refining until you get the result you want. Now let's dive into creating consistent image styles and characters for better storytelling. Let's start by using the advanced prompt structure to achieve a consistent image style across generations. Focus on two key elements. First, use strong iconic keywords. For example, in our Warrior Woman image, we used sword and sorcery for the genre and added wuxia to the scenery. Second, specify your image style with a fixed genre and medium or a photography style. Describe your subject and use effects like lighting and color to set the mood for your series of images. With this foundation, you can start writing stories and create various shots by changing the shot type, action, scenery and the subject's emotions. And as long as you keep most of the keywords in the style layer and effect layer the same, your image style will remain consistent. As you can see in these examples, where I extended the cyberpunk prompt. The colored keywords represent the fixed ones, while the white keywords are the substitutes, allowing us to change the shot type, emotions, actions and scenery. Now you can see we've created a consistent style, despite changing the scenery, shot type and emotions. This consistency comes from keywords like cyberpunk, cinematic film still, intense atmosphere, bokeh lighting and deep red and blue neon colors and are all taken from the ultimate prompt toolkit. Let's move on to the last step. Creating consistent characters was a challenge in the early days of AI image creation. Now the techniques are much more advanced, but they do require some technical effort to achieve them. And to do this, you need to create your own LoRa. And if you're new to AI image creation, a LoRa is essentially a smaller model that you can train on your own images or on any other subject. You can then combine this LoRa with models like Flux AI to create consistent characters and styles across multiple generations. And that's exactly what I did in this video. I used my Lenny LoRa to create images with Flux AI, then turned them into a video using a paid AI video platform called RunwayML. 
And since this is a topic on its own, I won't cover this here, but in this blog post and video for my main YouTube channel, I explain it in detail. Visit AIvideocourses.com to explore all my blog posts and videos designed to help you grow your skills in AI art and filmmaking.